Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with the evening news. The headlines. Eight International Day of Yoga celebrated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says yoga is not for India alone, but for the entire humanity. Union Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs, Kaushal Kishore, leads celebration of International Day of Yoga in Nagaland. Nagaland police re-cautions public against cyber frauds and crimes. And Nagaland celebrates World Music Day along with the rest of the world. Now the news in detail. The 8th edition of the International Day of Yoga is being celebrated today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi led the mass yoga demonstration at Mysuru in Karnataka. The theme of this year's International Day of Yoga is Yoga for Humanity. Several union ministers participated in the yoga demonstrations at different iconic places in the country. Crores of people participated in various International Day of Yoga programs being organized in India and the world. On the occasion, the Prime Minister said, Yoga is not for India alone, but for the entire humanity. He asserted that yoga is not merely for individuals, but it brings peace to our universe. Modi emphasized on the need to realize the unlimited possibilities of yoga. He pointed out that yoga is a process that leads one from inner peace to realize universal peace. Know your, thyself, our ancestors said, to know the universe and yoga shows the way to do it. He said yoga takes one from self to the self-consciousness of the world. Yoga is a great problem solver. It can change our lifestyle. Yoga helps us to orient our mind towards problem solving, be it climate change or international conflict. He said the world has now realized the benefits of yoga as it has provided a window to the spiritual growth of mankind. Modi thanked the United Nations and other countries for participating in the International Day of Yoga. The Prime Minister called upon everyone to make yoga a way of life. Nagaland joined the world in celebrating the International Day of Yoga, IDY 2022, Yoga for Humanity, today. Several programs were organized across the districts of the state. In the state capital, despite the rain, people from all walks of life enthusiastically participated in the celebration at the Naga Heritage Kohima. Union Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs, Kaushal Gishore, who led the event, termed yoga as an insurance of life. He said practicing yoga gives health benefits, improves mental health, peace and gives a relief to all types of diseases, be it asthma or blood pressure. To this, Kishore encouraged the people to practice yoga and keep oneself free from disease. The MOS mentioned that with the initiative of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, today yoga has connected the world together, adding that one of the country's biggest achievements was UNESCO's inscription of yoga in its representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2016. The MOS also added that yoga is a way to connect with people and meditation brings peace to mind. He said when one has a peace of mind, one is mentally fit. As such, the mindset changes, leading to less corruption and crime. Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pangya Palm said, Today yoga is playing an important role in the daily lives of every individual by putting it into practice, be it physical, mental or spiritual health, to mankind. This is something priceless and valuable, he added. Bangyu said, despite the unprecedented health crisis for the past two years, people have taken yoga as one of the best medicines for which COVID pandemic has not stopped the people from doing yoga regularly. The health minister also said that yoga has proved to be a fantastic therapy which can cure and prevent harmful infection and virus. He also said this year the people of the country is celebrating IDY as essential commitment to our lives which will ultimately lead all to better life. Bangyu also urged the people of the state to inculcate and impipe the practice of yoga for a healthier life. Marking the auspicious occasion, common yoga protocol was demonstrated by Patanjali Yoke Samiti Kohima to the participants of CPWD PSF, paramilitary, officials from Ayush, Health Department, PMAY, Urban Nagaland, and students. Besides Yoga Sankalpa, 
was also administered to the participants. Meanwhile, officials and staff of All India Radio Kohima also observed the Yoga Day. This news comes to you from All India Radio Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. Nagaland police has re-cautioned the public against the various cyber frauds and crimes prevalent in the state. The general public is again being made aware of the widespread operation of cyber frauds, including theft of identity and photos, as well as extortion of blackmailing through internet and social media. The police also cautioned against Bitcoin scams and fake online shopping apps and pages in popular social media platforms. Nagaland police advised the public to remain vigilant and not to be duped by such scams. Noting that the fraudsters are professionals and take extra effort to appear genuine, the police appealed the general public not to transfer money without completely verifying the authenticity of the account and not to fall prey to advertisements or links for bitcoins, online game prizes, lottery, easy loans, stock market investment scams and quick returns. Today is World Music Day. It is also known as Fête de la Musique in French, being observed on 21st June every year. The theme of the World Music Day 2022 is music on the intersections. World Music Day was first celebrated in 1982 and aims to promote music among amateurs and professional musicians who are encouraged to perform on the streets. The day also shares its anniversary with the International Yoga Day. In Nagaland, musicians across the districts of the state are also celebrating the 7th World Music Day. The Task Force for Music and Arts, Tafma, Nagaland, released a song titled Now or Never by Nagaland Collective, a song about unity, passion of the youth and chasing one's dreams. Chief Minister Nipirio has extended greetings to all the musicians across Nagaland on the occasion. The state government has further amended the notification of the Finance Department Revenue Branch dated 29 December 2017 in exercise of the powers conferred by Section 128 of the Nagaland Goods and Services Tax Act 2017, 4 of 2017. The revision will insert a new proviso providing that a late fee payable for delay in furnishing of form GSTR 4 for the financial year 2021-22 under Section 47 of the said Act shall stand waived for the period from 1st of May till 30th of this month. The Centre has stressed that selection process for the recruitment of Agnivis under the newly launched Agnipat scheme will be transparent, fair and objective. Briefing media in New Delhi today, Lieutenant General and Additional Secretary in Department of Military Affairs, Anil Puri, said no change will be made in the recruitment process. He said Agnibat's scheme lays emphasis on youthful profile of the armed forces, recruitment of tech savvy and adaptable people in army and making individuals future ready. He said the recruitment process of army will commence from 1st July and a help number 23013865 has been started to help the candidates. In Assam, the flood situation improved slightly in Pramaputra Valley due to improved weather conditions. However, the situation remains critical in the three districts of Barak Valley and four units of National Disaster Response Force arrived to Silcha from Odisha to carry out rescue operations. Chief Minister Himanda Biswa Sarma has instructed all the Deputy Commissioners to ensure possible relief measures to the flood hit people on a priority basis. And now 20 news, here are the main points again. The 8th International Day of Yoga celebrated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says yoga is not for India alone but for the entire humanity. Union Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs, Kaushal Kishore, leads celebration of the International Day of Yoga in Nagaland. Nagaland Belize re cautions public against cyber frauds and crimes. And Nagaland celebrates World Music Day along with the rest of the world. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.